So what I was trying to ask you is, how would you recommend someone to learn math on their own? Like when I was in high school, I tried to make this sort of mathematical research on differential geometry. And it was such a mess because like when I went into books, they were like super rigorous and you have like definitions and things that seem so odd, but then they make up like their arguments for why they work, but you get like no intuition. So mm. where can you find this intuition? So, okay. Um, in general with the like, how to, how to learn things on your own, I, the fo the answer should be like very people centric. So the perfect situation is where there's an actual mentor locally that you can find. You know, it's at a university, a teacher, or something like that that you can do as like an independent guided reading. Now, okay, maybe that's not available um, for whatever reason. If there's um, like a, a a friend or a small group of friends that you would want to like read the things with. So you know, if you're engaged with Hack Club, maybe there's other Hack Clubbers who are interested in differential geometry. And you say like, oh, every week, you know, we'll like try to read one chapter and then we'll kind of trade notes. I'm like, man, I found this part unintuitive. Did you? Oh, wait, no, the, the intuition there is if you just draw this picture and kind of getting that side of things. Um, but maybe that's not available that people aren't necessarily interested in like the exact same things. If you can find lectures, I, I, I personally tend to find this helpful where if I see, especially if it's the author of the book and they're like giving talks at all or have given some kind of lecture series that they like posted on YouTube, um, there's so many little things that are said while they're lecturing. It might still be kind of dry and rigorous, but you can have these things like, oh, you know, there's this little limit, but you don't, you don't really need to worry about it. It's just like, uh, as long as we like take this true, the thing that's actually um, like the important part here is such and such. And like all those little verbal cues about where your focus should and shouldn't be, I think shines through in a lecture that is hard to come through in a book. Um, but those, I don't know, those are sort of the three different tiers of like, engaging with a human uh, uh, in, in doing the thing rather than just the text itself. Um, and the other one would be, uh, and I, I really wish that I had like, someone had told me this when I was starting my undergrad. Uh, you don't have to read just that one book. Like actually the most important step when you're going through a text to learn some math is to choose the right book first. Um, so, you know, th there's probably a ton of people who have written things on differential geometry. Take a look at five of them. See if one of them is better than others. Because odds are, you know, you kind of go through one and for whatever reason, it just doesn't kind of click with where you are. But maybe you see like Tristan Needham just wrote a book about differential geometry. And you know, he had this pretty outstanding book on visual complex analysis that everyone who reads loves. Like maybe that one's just going to be better. And like making sure that you, you, you spend time on that choice phase of things, then it can save you a lot of time in the future on the reading side of things. Um, so that's that's what I would try.